Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us talk about carbohydrates. So carbohydrates are also known as saccharides which means sweet. So now since it has been observed that some of the carbohydrates are sweet in taste, that is why they are also given a name called saccharides. So it is an organic compound comprising of hydrogen, carbon and oxygen. So these are the main constituents of carbohydrates and that is why the name carbo from carbon, hydrate from hydrogen, hydrate from hydrogen and oxygen. So that is why carbohydrate. So these are primarily produced by plants, for example, cane sugar, glucose, starch, cellulose. These are all examples of carbohydrates. So you can just have a look at the different food materials which are very rich in uh, carbohydrates. For example, rice, uh, apple, banana, uh, vegetables like potato, germinating seeds, corn, glucose, starch, sugarcane, these are all a rich source of carbohydrates. They are very, very rich in carbohydrates. So it is generally observed that most of the plant products are uh, rich in carbohydrates. Most of them have a general formula CXH2OY and were considered as hydrates of carbon. Now, since the name was carbohydrates, Earlier, it was thought that they are nothing but hydrates of carbon. So they'll have carbon and then they'll have water molecule. So that is how it was considered before that every carbohydrate will fall into this formula. It is just the value of X and Y will change. But later with time, it was seen that it was nothing but a myth. And it was not a fact. It was not true. So carbohydrates not necessarily fall under this or they do not necessarily follow this formula. So we will look at some of the examples of carbohydrates which do not fall under this formula. And we'll also look at some compounds which fall under this formula but they are not carbohydrates. So let us look at some of them. Glucose is a carbohydrate of course. The formula for glucose is C6H12O6 and it fits into this formula. So if you put um, X as 6 and Y as 6, so if you put X is equal to 6, Y is equal to 6, then what you get? It is C6H2O6. So that is C6H12O6. So glucose fits into this formula. Let us look at another example. Let us say acetic acid. So if you look at acetic acid, it is CH3COOH. That is the formula for acetic acid. So it has two carbons. So if you put X is equal to 2 and Y is equal to 2. So what do you think? So what do you see? It fits into this formula. But acetic acid is not a carbohydrate. It is, a, it is an acid. It is not a car carbohydrate. So even though it fits into the formula, it is not a carbohydrate. Let us look at yet another example, Ramanose. It has a formula C6H12O5, which does not fit into the formula. So it is almost the same as glucose. It is just that one oxygen is less here. So it doesn't fit into the formula, but it is a carbohydrate. So with such examples, uh, it was concluded that it was just a myth that carbohydrates are hydrates of carbon. Actually, they are not. They are basically organic compounds which are made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So please do not follow anything like this because some people still think that carbohydrates are always hydrates of oxygen and they should follow this formula. But that is not the case. So then what is the real definition of carbohydrates? So if we do not define them as hydrates of carbon, how should we ideally define them? So carbohydrates in terms of chemistry. So when we talk about structures, compounds, uh, their chemical formulae, so we'll obviously have to talk in terms of chemistry. So carbohydrates are defined as optically active polyhydroxy aldehydes or ketones or the compounds which produce such units on hydrolysis. 
It's quite a complex definition, isn't it? Okay, we'll understand it word by word. So when I say polyhydroxy, it means it should have Poly means multiple. Hydroxy is OH group. So it should have multiple OH groups. It should have an aldehyde group. What is aldehyde group? It is CHO. And what is a ketone group? It is COR. So that is a ketone group. So now I am not going to talk about aldehydes or ketones in detail right now. So for that you can refer your chemistry videos. So here I'll just tell you about the structures of carbohydrates and for that I might have to use some of your chemistry terms and that is what I, I'll do now. So these are those compounds which will have multiple OH groups. They will be either aldehyde that is either they'll have a CHO or they'll have a ketone group that is a CO with R, R is nothing but the alkyl group. So either they'll have this or they will produce such units on hydrolysis. Now what is hydrolysis? Hydrolysis means to add water. So when you add a molecule of water, you end up getting some other compounds. So that is the process of hydrolysis. We will talk about hydrolysis in little more detail a little later. So for now you should understand that carbohydrates, for example, here are some examples of carbohydrates like fructose, glucose, ribose, erythrose, glyceraldehyde these are all examples of carbohydrates so just let us just have a look at them let us suppose if you consider glucose so they have multiple hydroxy groups right so it is polyhydroxy so one condition is satisfied it should have an aldehyde or ketone now these points are nothing but these are all carbon atoms so if you see this is your aldehyde group that is a CHO so it has an aldehyde group. So then that means this is a carbohydrate. So it should be polyhydroxy, aldehyde or ketone. Similarly, if you consider this ribose, so this is also polyhydroxy. It has so many hydroxy group and it also has an aldehyde group. If you consider fructose, if you consider fructose, this again has multiple hydroxy. So it is polyhydroxy. But it doesn't have an aldehyde group. There is no CHO group here. But there is a COR. See, this is your C, my double bond O. And this is your alkyl group. So it, it is a ketone. It has a ketone group. So this is aldehyde. And this has a ketone group. So this is also a carbohydrate. So these are some examples of carbohydrate. So that is how you can... Uh, Identify if this is a carbohydrate or not. It should have polyhydroxy, aldehyde or ketone. And if they are not present, then those compound on hydrolysis should produce compounds which are polyhydroxy, aldehydes or ketones. So polyhydroxy, aldehyde or ketone is the key definition for carbohydrates. Now there are other examples as well like erythrose or glyceraldehyde. Now here you see glyceraldehyde, the name itself says that it has aldehyde and it also has multiple hydroxy group. Just to tell you, this glyceraldehyde is the smallest carbohydrate. I mean looking at the structure also you can make that out. It has the smallest number of carbon atoms and it is also the smallest carbohydrate. However, for any carbohydrate, for any carbohydrate to exist, you need minimum of three carbon atoms and that is what is there in case of glyceraldehyde. You cannot have a carbohydrate smaller than this. That is because you need one aldehyde or ketone group. So for any aldehyde or ketone group, you need one carbon atom. So one carbon atom has to be there for the aldehyde or the ketone group, right? Again, you need carbon atoms for the hydroxy groups because these hydroxy groups will also be connected it, it will be linked to the carbon atom now you need one carbon atom for one hydroxy group and you are saying that it has to be polyhydroxy that means minimum there has to be two hydroxy groups so for two hydroxy group there has to be two carbon so minimum you need three carbon atoms for any carbohydrate as per the definition of carbohydrate the smallest carbohydrate also should have at least three carbon atoms. One carbon atom for the aldehyde or ketone group, 
remaining two carbon atoms for the two hydroxy groups because these are polyhydroxy compounds. That is why glyceraldehyde is the smallest carbon atom. So I hope I am quite clear on this. Okay. So now let us go ahead after we have understood the definition. Now, why are carbohydrates called saccharides? As I mentioned before also, most of the carbohydrates are sweet in taste. Now, please remember, most of them, not all of them. We will look at the exception. As we go ahead, we'll see that there are some carbohydrates which are not sweet in taste, but still they have saccharides in their name because most of them are sweet. And carbohydrates are also sometimes called sugar in like layman's term because sugar is also sweet in taste that way. So carbohydrates are called saccharides. In Greek, saccharin means sugar. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.